sports fans, welcome to Sports Biz with LD. Welcome everybody. I'm Larry Davis, host of Sports Biz with LD. On my left, the co-host for today, Richard Cave and First Equity. What's happening? What's happening? Thank you. It's all good. I'm Thanks glad you're here. Me. I appreciate that. I mean, let's get right to it. Join us on Facebook, Sports Biz with LD. The Twitter, Sports Biz with LD. The website, Sports Biz with LD. It's all about LD. Let's not forget that, okay? That's the way we roll here, Sports Biz with LD. You know, Rich, how I start the show, it's always things that are on my mind. We call it off the chest. Sure. Of course, throw in your comments. I'm cool with that. First thing, of course, we've got to talk about the Final Four. Okay, it's this weekend. The Final Two is Monday night. Absolutely. Which happens to have something to do with what we're going to talk about with you a little later. But the Final Four. So the Final Four, we have UConn's playing Florida. Right. Okay, Kevin Ollie's the coach of UConn. And Billy Donovan, who's just done a tremendous job at the Florida Gators, he's 36-2. and two. Mm. I mean, <laughs> that to me is like domination. Right. So I will get right into it with you. Let's do a little prediction. I mean, I don't know if you're the big college basketball guy. You got UConn. UConn is 30 and 8. Right. Again, like I said, Florida, 36 and 2. Who do you like in that game? I like UConn. You like UConn? Yeah, I'm wow. a St. John's guy, a Big East guy, so a former Big East team. I think uh, I think UConn's going to pull that one out. So, all right, so you're saying they're going to pull it out because you're a St. John's guy and you love them? Is there love there, or is it just that you really believe they got the better ball club? I think they have the better ball club. I think, um, I think the teams that have been undefeated or have um, you know, just a couple of losses haven't really checked out too well. So uh, I think uh, UConn's, a, UConn's the pick. Well, you know, not <laughs> even because we need to do this, but I'm doing it anyhow. I don't agree with you at all. I think that Florida is going to win. I think Donovan is just a great coach. I, like, I happen to like Kevin Ollie, but I got to go with Florida. And, you know, we'll soon find out, of course. But I uh, can't agree with you on that one. All right. Okay? Fair then enough. we're going to go to... Kentucky versus Wisconsin. The Badgers are playing Kentucky. Uh, John Calipari is the coach of Kentucky that everybody knows about. I mean, he's been around for so long. Who do you like there? Kentucky is my pick to win it all, so I got to wow. go with Kentucky. Now, was Kentucky from the beginning, or Kentucky, now they're with the Final Four? Kentucky from the beginning. So on your bracket, if we went if after we you went and after I said, show bracket. me your bracket saying uh, Kentucky with John Calipari. I promise you, Kentucky. You know, the one thing I got a problem with the with the collegiate sports is when a guy, and Calipari is a perfect example of this, when he leaves a program and leaves it bad, did something not kosher, whatever it is, with a right. player, I think that collegiate sports – should say to that coach, like, if you get suspended for doing something at a university, I don't believe they could just leave and then go get another job in the same fraternity. If they go to the NBA, that's sure. different. You can't control them. That's a good point. I don't like that. I don't think it's right. I think if, you, if your program that you left has a problem, whether they're, you, you know, suspended for a year or not right. allowed to play in the tournament or whatever it is, right. I think that coach should not allowed to be leave totally unscathed and move on, get a new job, and then go to another university. What do you well, think? You, I, I don't know. I think you see it all over the place. I mean, I think... I think that, uh, you know, we love uh, a second chance. So uh, I think that, you know, can't keep a guy from earning a living, right? Uh, you know, At what so he does I, best. I, I mean, I guess, I guess that's right. I guess you, you got a point there. You're not even looking at it that way. I, I just felt that, you know, if you're in collegiate sports, you owe it to be the guy who's showing the kids the right way to do things. But, you know, some, you do have a good point. I, I guess you're stopping them from making a living, which is not right. Moving on from the final four. Oh, so you're liking Kentucky, so Kentucky. it's going to be Kentucky, UConn, and you told me on your bracket you have Kentucky, so of course Promise. you got to win. Me, I don't do a bracket, okay. but I would say to you, I think it's going to be Florida. All right. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit. You know, baseball season just started. The instant replay. First year ever it's in Major League Baseball. They've had 18 replay cha challenges. Now, again, how do I know that? Because someone did a little work for me. I don't want you to think I'm so smart. But 18 replay challenges, anyway. you would have guessed how many? <laughs> I would have guessed a lot less than that. <laughs> okay, right. I would have too. All right. Now, the average is like, to me, the big thing is about how long it takes. Right. So the average here is 2 minutes and 42 seconds. I think that's pretty good. That's reasonable. I, I think mean, it's to reasonable. Get it, to get it right. You yeah, know? to get it right. I, I, mean, I accept it, that. Because <laughs> you look at the NFL. I mean, the guy goes, he's got to walk from where it is. He picks up the red flag, walks, gets under that hoodie, which I don't know what's going on in there. I'd love to get in there with the ref. Like, what's Absolutely. going on in there? Who's he yeah. talking to? 
That's you true. know, like they used to say a guy goes to the mound and he's talking about what they have going for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Although it. the difference between baseball and football is that football, I appreciate those breaks. You know, that's my bathroom break. That's my <laughs> grab another beer break. Baseball, it's slow as it is. I so, gotta tell you, know. you, man, I, I don't watch football live anymore. I tape it. I don't want anyone to tell me, and I go Straight and watch through. that game, and I got I sit down late at night because my wife and kids are all over me when the game's live, right. and I make sure no one tells me the score, and I go watch the game. Right. But in football, it's a joke. I don't even know, but I, I think it's over five minutes. It's way too long. Right. The longest one was almost five minutes. Too long. It's too long. Too long. And then I got to tell you something. I got to read this from my buddy Phil Munchnik. I love Phil. He's been on the show. The guy's great. Phil writes on Wednesday. For a replay review, the White Sox came. They went to see if Adam Eaton caught the ball or if he dropped it. The delay on the replay central. So they go to replay central. There's only two games going on, and it took over five minutes. Yeah, no, that's that's too long. I'm I'm a I'm a fan of the of the replay, but they've got to find a way to speed it up. Well, right. I think you're right on that one, but if the average is two and a half minutes, it's not that bad. The other thing about the challenges, as we'll move on, the challenge is, is if the manager gets it wrong, you're done. You're right. one and done. Right. If you get it right, you get another one. I guess, again, it's a big debate that how many you get. You don't want to slow the game down. Then again, you're talking baseball. It is so slow anyhow. I mean, does it matter if the game is three and a half hours or goes three and 45 minutes? That's a good point. Like, you love how Michael Kay at the end of the Yankee games would be, oh, yeah, tidy three hours and ten right. minutes. I mean. Well, American League Baseball, forget about oh, it. Oh, well, with designated hitter. <laughs> Let's go to, and this was in the news too, David Ortiz, Big Poppy. The, the Red Sox won the World Series last year. As we all know in all the majors, they get to go meet the president. Sure. The White House. So they go to the White House. And you see, it went viral. Everybody saw it. How David Ortiz took a selfie with President Obama. And now you're getting some rumblings like he just did a deal with Samsung with the phone. Right. I mean, how great was that, Rich, <laughs> for Samsung? So do you think this was... Uh... Right, exactly. A little bit of a setup, a little way, hey, let's, let's sign Big Poppy week before. Because I also heard, like you see in the paper and on the blogs, a little rumblings coming out of the White House, like, was the president used mm. a little bit? You know what I mean? Like, what do you think of that? I mean, you're a business owner. Sure. I mean, Hey, you take, you take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves, right? I got to tell you, I'm, <laughs> I genius. totally agree. Genius. I think Samsung did a genius job, right? Yeah. Did a great yeah. job. Yeah. And Big Poppy picking him to be the spokesperson. Yeah. I, love, I do not love Big Poppy, even if you're a Yankee fan. Yeah, he's a likable guy. Very likable guy. And he skated past this whole... You know, uh, performance enhancing drug well, issue. Uh, good, point. probably because of his character. You know, because he's a likable guy. The less likable guys seem to get the uh, like A Rod seem to get the, you know, the, the you know. That's a good point. You know, I didn't even think of that. You know, yeah. And David Ortiz. What else I love about him in the marketing world? Like, if you're going to pick spokespeople, and we're going to get to your great event, and you guys have a spokesperson. I love that Big Poppy also speaks Spanish. Because I think you get the combination there of a guy now can go to the other community, the Latin community, and you know he goes on both sure. sides. And the other thing, like when I like to you know, help people like you in picking uh, spokespeople, is I like it also if you can get the guy who might also have the celebrity wife. Mm. Like I love the whole thing with the Jets with Eric Decker. He's got that country wife superstar sure. who. It's pretty hot, too. That sure. doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. You know, <laughs> I like that whole angle in the sports marketing world, so I think Big Me Poppy too. did a nice job there, you know. Moving on to my last thing off my chest, it was just this whole Daniel Murphy taking a few days off because his wife had a baby. I tell you, I'm big fans of uh, Boomer and Carton and, uh, and even Francesa, but uh, they missed the mark on this one. I, I gotta agree. I, I don't know. What are you talking about? And I love how guys, guys are all the big muscles when their wives aren't around. Right. You're telling me <laughs> that if your wife says, honey, I'd like you to stay with me. Now, in a guy's head, he's going to be like, hey, what do you want me to do, honey? Hold your hand. You had the baby. You're lying in bed. I remember when I had my firstborn. And Brandon Steiner is a good buddy of mine. Sure. My daughter was born. Brandon was there. Another guy that we worked with at Steiner. And we left. Went to Lugie's. Had dinner. <laughs> uh, honey, what, what do you want me to do? My boys are here. We're going to have dinner, celebrate, and then I'll be back. Had that go over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe the next day she said something. But right. took a couple of days off. Hung out with my wife. You know, Francesca killing it. Francesca said something like, 
My, I think he said, I'm not 100%, my daughter or son was born at 10 o'clock, and I did my show at 1 o'clock. Okay, You're, don't tell me you told your wife that. And look, he has, he has the option to do that, but you can't begrudge Murphy for taking advantage of something the union gives him the right to do. Good point. Um, you know, that Francesa uh, can do what he needs to do, and, and Murphy needs to do And then I think uh, Carton, who's funny, listen, the guy's mm -hmm. entertainment, yeah, and I laughed from his comments saying, sure. I think he said something <laughs> like, what is uh, Murphy going to do, breastfeed the kid? <laughs> <laughs> And I think uh, Boomer was talking about uh, scheduling a C-section around opening day. So I don't know that that went over too well. But uh, uh, Yeah, you know something? The funny thing would be, right, you know, I'd love to get their wives' comments, get the real story. Sure. But I'm with you. I totally disagree with those guys. I don't get that. I didn't see that. And, you know, so my wife said she wants me to stay on a couple of days. I'm staying on a couple of days. Home. And why wouldn't I want to? The birth of my child? I mean, I get it. The kid's so small. He's in the other room. I have all that. But at the end of the day, let's not kid ourselves. Well, the amount of time these guys spend on the road. Those few days he had might be the only few days he has for quite a while. Hey, you know, so, so that's another good point. You know. And in baseball, 162 games. So Murphy lost, missed two games? Right. Okay, yeah, from the, the Mets' point of view, well, we lost both games. Okay, he lost both games. But bottom line is you probably would have lost them anyhow. And then one last that's thing, true. Murphy <laughs> does come back and plays in the third game. He had two errors. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so. I'd like to, you know, welcome the Rampart Group. I um, mean, he's one of our sponsors. They're in the insurance business. They're in business over 40 years. You gotta love companies that are in the business so many years. Their reputation for quality, integrity, professionalism. I know Robbie Morris and his brothers for a long time. They're a great, great company. Any kind of insurance you need, they have, except title Tidal insurance. insurance. <laughs> so you like that, how, you know, there's no uh, mingling going on. Any insurance you need, rampartgroup.com. They're a great company. You told Mel D sent you. I don't know if they can give you more of a discount, but they do a great job anyhow. So we want to welcome them to the show. I really appreciate it, guys. Now let's get to Richard. Richard Cave, First Equity, title closers, all about closing. That's what the business is. You know, and the three things that you guys are all about, and we'll get to the pink tie event because that's really a perfect segue into that. It's about sports, networking, and charity. And I think your brother, who's the CEO of the company, Mike, had said that that's how he tries to do business. You know, it doesn't go in, let's just talk about getting your business. Sports is huge. It's just an unbelievable business today. And that's why we have Sports Biz with LD, a sports business show, because sure. it's all billions of dollars. You guys like to do the sports, do the networking, do the charity. Talk to us a little bit about your business, and then you and I will get into this great event we have Monday night at the, Carl at the Carlisle and the Green and Beth page uh, for the Pink Tie. Sure. Well, my brother Mike Cave started the company 10 years ago. And he built the company from a one-man show to what it is today. Um, I love that, man. I, God bless America. Yeah. I love that story. Absolutely. Incredibly hard worker. And we're really marketing guys. We happen to be in the title insurance business. But for us, it was more about um, figuring out what we could do to help our clients grow their business as opposed to just asking for business. So in doing that, you've got to change the conversation. Right. And how do we normally start most of our conversations as men, mostly? We'll talk about sports. So when we sit down with a client, we're going to talk about the game last night the game that's happening tonight. And so we kind of took that sports and networking, which we were doing at a, at a rampant pace anyway, right. right? Extreme networkers that we are. And um, you know, we were doing that and we were successful at it. And then Mike said a couple of years ago, how can we take those two components and add the third, which is charity, and give back to the local community? So that's where our sports networking charity mantra came, came up and uh, that's where Pink Tie was born. Well, let's just get to the company a little bit for it. First equity title, in, in, uh, magazine, in Inc. Magazine's top 500 list, number 67. It's a magic number, 67. <laughs> top fastest, top 100 fastest growing real estate companies in America. The number one growing title company in New York. And then the best of Long Island. I Absolutely. mean, uh, does it get any better? <laughs> and then I think, wasn't your brother, we'll be done talking about your brother for a while because he's not here, Mike. So thanks anyway, Richard's here. But... <laughs> Fair, you know, top 40, yeah. under 40. In Absolutely. The, uh, so just tell us a little bit more about the company sure. and then we'll get to the pink tie. Absolutely. So um, Inc. 500 Magazine puts out a list of the fastest growing companies in America. We were um, privileged to be uh, number 67 of the top 100 fastest growing real estate companies and the number one fastest growing title company in New York State. So that was a great honor and yeah. Uh, yeah. kind of a testament to the hard work that within everyone puts in within 10 years. Within yeah. 10 years. Um, 
Beth Page Federal Credit Union runs the uh, Best of Long Island um, with uh, Long Island Press. Yes. And uh, we won Best Title Company on Long Island. And uh, last but not least, Mike was recently honored by Long Island Business News as uh, 40 Under 40, top 40 CEOs uh, under 40 years old. That's great. And uh, so we actually had one of the largest turnouts that LIBN has ever had at one of their award ceremonies. We actually had eight tables of 10. So <laughs> they actually great. gave us our own section and called it the first <laughs> equity title section. And uh, when he walked through that room, the roar let loose and it was a lot of fun. Wow, man, fun. that's a great yeah. feeling. So your brother started to come. When did you jump aboard? How'd that happen? I jumped on, but we're, we're entrepreneurs. So right. we've both run several businesses over the past 20, 22 years. Uh, never really ever worked for anyone, believe it or not. So um, I was running another business, and uh, Mike's company was just poised for that to turn the corner and say, why don't you come on? You know, take us to the next level, help us get into new markets. We're licensed in New York, New Jersey, and Florida now. And, um, you know, changing the scope of the business also. We're getting a lot more into commercial business as well. Really? Yeah. How many employees you guys have now? We have about 15 employees in the office, and then we have about another 15 reps out on the field. Ah, man, so. I just love it. So <laughs> now let's get into this great event, the Pink Tie event. Sure. When I first met you guys, my buddy Steve Carl, who is Carlisle on the Green, asked me to come in and help you guys. And you know, so I met you guys. You guys are great guys. How did you get involved in that? And I, I don't know the story 100%, but was something happened like with your aunt or something like that? And then you guys just felt, was that the story? Yeah, um, unfortunately, my aunt um, at 49 years old had passed away from oh, breast cancer. Man. She had six children. Uh, ranging oh. in uh, age from kindergarten to high school senior. Uh, the real unfortunate part of it, and what really was the, the catalyst to get us really uh, focused on breast cancer, was that uh, she had found something about a year prior to her actually going and getting it checked out. So by the time she did go and get it checked out, it was, it was kind of too late. So oh, breast cancer Make sure being- Make sure everybody, you know, go out there, check early, yeah. get this stuff done. It's very, very important, right? The, if, if they found it early, we well, could have Well, the outcome her, could have been much different. Well, oh. breast cancer happens to be a very curable disease um, if detected early. Oh, it is, okay. If detected early. Right. Um, you know, Long Island has a very high percentage of breast cancer, 18% higher than the rest of the country, believe it or not. And why is that? I mean, do they have it? with all the studies, they haven't figured that out. I there's mean, a lot of theories, you know, environmental, lifestyle. Um, there's a lot of di things that are unique to Long Island, believe it or not, that are different than the rest of the country that could attribute. What do you mean, the taxes? That's well, unique. That too. We got that, you know, that, all around the country. That's number one, isn't it? Yeah, that's depressing. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, you know, we figured if we could really put the word out and hitting on your point, getting people to go out and get themselves checked early yeah. so that if, God forbid, there is a problem, it could be, it could be handled correctly. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's just, it's a shame what's going on. And, you know, again, there's a lot of great charities out there. I mean, sure. there's so many things that everybody can help. And, and then you guys, so you, you team up, I guess, with Steve Carl. Yes. Um, and Linda, right? Linda, you know, yeah. you know, bring Linda yeah, into it absolutely. because I've met Linda the year before sure. at the at the pink tie as well. And you know, bring in her, and then we'll talk about the great event Monday night at the Carlo. Sure. So, um, as luck would have it, one of our guys was out networking and uh, had met Linda Ferrante, who is the great girl, uh, very nice girl, tremendous. Sweet and dog. she runs an organization. She's a breast cancer survivor herself. Yes. She runs an organization called Fact Find a Cure Today Breast Cancer Foundation. She's been around for about ten years. And she donates directly to Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, North Shore LIJ, and the WIGS program. Um, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, the money actually goes directly to the scientists. And they've got some groundbreaking, very exciting uh, medications that they're coming out with right now. That, um, Is are that gonna, Linda calling in right now? <laughs> <laughs> that are going to freeze these breast cancer cells um, and keep them from metastasizing. So um, Linda runs a phenomenal organization. We, um, we support her 100%. Right, yes. And uh, you know, just to mention, that is an all-volunteer organization with no administrative costs and no overhead. And, you know, so that's the big thing. You know, yep. all these charities, right. okay, and you listen, that's the law, they're allowed, but you know, where is the money going? Right. You know, that is the problem all the time. You have these charities that, you know, they're having events and dinners and cars. I mean, that is the problem that everybody has with the charity. Where is my money going? Yeah, you want me to say, write your check for a hundred bucks? Want me to, but where's it going? That's one of the things I love about that. Right, and that's one of my brother's biggest pet peeves was, um, you know, all all throughout, you know, you're, you're walking into the mall and, you know, they're asking you for money for this and money for that. And you never really know where that money goes. Right. So it was very important to him that we supported a charity that was 100% volunteer. 
Yeah, I, I love that. that. That's a very, very important thing. Your brother's right about that. So let's get to Monday night. So you guys, you know, Steve calls great, does a phenomenal job, knows how to run a, a, a party, you know, and he is a party himself. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> he knows how to run a business. And the guy's very entertaining. And I love him. Me too. So now you, you, you have it at the Carlisle, which is a great spot. U.S. Open's been there, the best golf place around. The food's great. The inter- just a great thing. Absolutely. So tell us about the entertainment. I know some of the athletes going to be there. We'll talk about it a little bit. Sure. But the first athlete, let me just jump. First out we're going to talk about is Doc Gooden. Absolutely. I mean, Doc Gooden, just one of the greatest pitchers, sweetheart of a guy, had his own problems, just like you brought earlier sure. about when I was saying about the college coaches. You were like, people get second chances. Doc right. has a few chances. Great guy. We love him. You guys have hired him. I think you told me before we started yes. as a official spokesperson. Tell us a little about Doc. Sure. And, and then we'll get into some of the other plays that are going to be there. Doc is a phenomenal individual, as you mentioned. I know you know him well. And, um, you know, uh, Doc crosses over both Mets and Yankees, There's which was important There's a few guys who go us, both ways. Right? Doc, <laughs> Darryl, David Cohn. Right. right. There are a few guys, right. So that, you know, that was good because, he, you know, he, the Cy Young and the World Championship with the Mets and then the no-hitter. Rookie of the, the Year. Rookie of the Year. Know, stri- yeah. Two World Series with the Dr. Yankees. Dr. K. Dr. Right. K. And, um, you know, he's had his own challenges, which uh, and he's overcome and he's, he's um, actually persevered. So that's an important part of the story as well. Yes. Um, so we hired him as a business development. Uh, we call him MVP of business development instead of just <laughs> VP. So he's the so he M- works at First Equity. He's an employee of First Equity right. and he is a spokesperson for Pink Tie. And we right. couldn't have a better, um, a better voice for our, for our message. And then I know I was watching the Met game, the Met home opener. Yes. I see Doc getting interviewed, wearing a pink tie. Kevin Burkhart brings yep. it up that he's spokesman for pink tie. And then I think I text you that that happened. You're like, oh, I was there, Larry. Oh, sorry, Rich. I mean, I didn't know that you were in that suite. But so you were with Doc that day. We were with I'm Doc. sure working the crowd, working the suites, yep. trying to help out pink tie, right? Absolutely. Actually, we're in the Caesars suite. Caesars is one of our sponsors on Monday night. They're donating all the casino tables and the dealers. Wow. So um, it was a great tie in. Um, you know, um, just to hit on uh, the Carlisle, you know, Steve Carl runs a first class, first class. Uh, operation. Um, you can't get a better venue than Carlisle on the Green. We're really looking forward to, um, you know, bringing over 1,200 people on Monday night. 1,200 um, people, <laughs> okay? So if you're not coming, you're missing out. Absolutely. Right? I mean, it, Absolutely. it is the place to be Monday night. So For sure. you're also going to have Daryl there. Is that correct? Daryl Strawberry will be there. Okay. Walt Clyde Frazier. Joe Walt Clyde. Klecko. I was with Clyde the other night at yep. a Nick event in the city. Clyde, he's the man. <laughs> yeah, Clyde's and excited to come. He's excited and he's committed to wearing a pink blazer. So that I want Yes, you know something? He did tell me that. He's wearing a pink. But you know something? Clyde wears that stuff. Yes. I mean, and that's what Clyde does. You know, and people, if you want tickets, pinktie.org. Yes. That's where you can go online and listen. They're going. You know, the, the emails are going out every day. If you want to come to the event of the year, and ask Steve Call, he'll tell you that. It's the, the <laughs> event of the year. You got to go. So also, you're going to have Joe Klecko right behind. I got a great photo of the Sackage chain with Joe Klecko. Joe Klecko. Love Joe. Yep, absolutely. Great guy. Greg Buttle. Um, Another great guy. Right. Um, County Jim Commission. Lairitz, my buddy Jim Lairitz, who was on the show last week. Absolutely. Jimmy's coming, Jim right? Jim Lairitz. We actually have O.J. Anderson. O.J. Now, O.J. was there the last time. O.J. was there at our, our so kickoff another support. event in yes. October. Another yep. supporter of ours is O.J. And then we have some uh, dignitaries. We have Ed Mangana, Nassau County Executive, and Steve Ballone, the Suffolk County Saw Executive. Ed last night. Yep. And I know here at the Daily Blue, Corinne Ca- Caro does all their work for them. So Absolutely. she's a, we're all big fan of Ed Mangano. Sure. Right. We'll have uh, the NYU Jazz Quartet. What we've done is we've taken each of our sponsors and given them experiences at the event. Let's talk, you know, so yeah. let's get, who are your sponsors? Let's talk about that. Well, being in the real estate space, a lot of our sponsors come from that industry. So okay. a lot of the mortgage brokers and banks. So Contour Mortgage, Contour Contin- Mortgage, Continental great. Home Loans, Continental, Franklin yes. First Financial. Uh, uh, Continental, I think my buddy Rich Tashernia works there. Okay. Yes, great. Yep. Continental, they, yep. what else? Uh, Prudential Borrowing, Ruttenberg Realty, Charles Ruttenberg Charles Realty. Charles Ruttenberg, he's on the board. He sits he with is on us. The board. With us. Very Absolutely. nice guy, yes. Very nice guy. Um, you know, Allure Home Improvement, Sal Farrell. Sally's good guy, big sports memorabilia. Oh, yeah. oh he loves Absolutely. that. Absolutely. He'll buy everything that night. You yeah. have the silent auction there. He'll buy everything. I think Sal right now is going to bid on everything. Right, and he's a big charity guy also, the fight yes. for charity yes. and everything. Like, he I think they were on that home improvement show. And, yes, and extreme, they did home makeover. extreme home makeover. Yeah, they're great guys over he's there. He's a great supporter every year on everything we do. Um, he uh, has a personal relationship with Linda, so they, he supports Fact and Pink Tie. Uh, tremendously. Right. Um, so we have sponsors that uh, pretty much um, cover the entire gamut, but again, a lot of it comes from real estate. That's kind of our secret recipe for success. Uh, those guys come out, those guys and ladies come out, and they really, besides purchasing the ticket to the event, 
they also support at the event with raffles and prizes and things like sure, that. Sure, like, you know, the first event we went to, every, the signed pig ties that Absolutely. you had from everybody. You're going to have the uh, uh, the silent auction and everything. So now all the players are going to be there, you right. know. They're gonna be, the players are going to be walking around, like, I'm going to go there, I'm going to be able to hang out, get a photo with a player, maybe get an autograph. I mean, Absolutely. they're all accessible, they're the all athletes. They're all accessible. Absolutely. You know, it's part of it. When you go to this event, one other important point. If you're familiar with the Carlisle, you've probably been to events where you've sat down at a program sit-down dinner. Yeah. We've turned that on its head. This event is a Gatsby-style networking event. So there's high tops and couches, similar to how we're sitting Where's right it? now. We can do business. We can listen to music. We can go outside. We can grab a cigar. We can go to the Capitol Grill Lounge, where they have their Stoli Doli cocktail, their signature cocktail. Rockefeller Cigars will be there, Jeffrey Avo, and... Um, you know, we have a we have a tremendous uh, yeah. You know, listen, involved. man, it's a party. It's the way it should be. You know, you go to these events. It's a bar mitzvah for a wedding. That's not what I'm looking to go to. Right. Uh, I want to go and hang out. Right. That sit down tables just don't fly. Yeah. Pinktie.org this Monday night, April seventh. Yes. The, will the game be on? The game will. I be mean, on. last time we had OJ, what game was on? We were watching. Uh, I think the Giants it was were playing. A it was a playoff game. game. Right. right. So I remember. So the, the, the annual event is always the night of the NCAA championship game. So that'll be this Monday Great. at seven. It'll be on. So can I buy it. tickets for next year too? You can. Yeah, I like yeah, that. And See? you can sign up as an exclusive sponsor as well. Wow. For next year. Gotta love that. Yeah. Richard Cave, first equity title. And they're closed because they do titles. That's what they do. They close. Thank you for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having Pinktie.org. This Monday night, April 7th. Carlisle on the Green. Just a great place to have a party. I'm Larry Davis. Sports Biz with LD. I appreciate everybody watching. You can go on the Daily Blue and see the show. You can go on sportsbizwithld.com and see the show. The Twitter, Facebook, all the stuff. It's very easy. Sports Biz with LD. Again, pinktie.org. We'll see you next week. I got some great stuff I'm thinking about. I'm thinking I have Shane Spencer on the show. I, I met up with the MSBL Major Senior Baseball League. I'm going to have them on. I might have Jamie Lynn Siegler on, who's Meadow Soprano. I got a lot of ideas going on, as everybody knows. Larry Davis, thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Richard, thanks, thanks for, for being here. I really appreciate, appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.